the ass, the fox, and a lion. An ass and a fox went into partnership and sallied out to forage for food together. They hadn't gone far before they saw a lion coming their way, at which they were both dreadfully frightened. But the fox thought he saw a way of saving his own skin, and he went boldly up to the lion and whispered in his ear, I'll manage that you shall get a hold of the ass without the trouble of stalking him, if you'll promise to let me go free. The lion agreed to this, and the fox then rejoined his companion, and contrived before long to lead him by a hidden pit which some hunters had dug as a trap for wild animals, and into which he fell. When the lion saw that the ass was safely caught and couldn't get away, it was to the fox that he first turned his attention, and he soon finished him off, and then at his leisure proceeded to feast upon the ass. The Lion and the Mouse A lion asleep in his lair was waked up by a mouse running over his face. Losing his temper, he seized it with his paw and was about to kill it. The mouse, terrified, piteously entreated him to spare his life. Please let me go, it cried, and one day I will pay you for your kindness. The idea of so insignificant a creature of ever being able to do anything for him amused the lion so much that he laughed aloud and good-humoredly let it go. But the mouse's chance came after all. One day the lion got entangled in a net which had been spread for game by some hunters, and the mouse heard and recognized the roars of anger and ran to the spot. Without a more ado, it set to work to gnaw the ropes with its teeth, and succeeded before long in setting the lion free. There, said the mouse, you laughed at me when I promised I would repay you, but now you see, even a mouse can help a lion. The Crow and the Pitcher A thirsty crow found a pitcher with some water in it, but so little was there that, try as she might, she could not reach it with her beak, and it seemed as though she would die of thirst within sight of the remedy. At last she hit upon a clever plan. She began dropping pebbles into the pitcher, and with each pebble the water rose a little bit higher, until at last it reached the brim, and the knowing bird was enabled to... The Boys and the Frogs Some mischievous boys were playing at the edge of a pond, and, catching sight of some frogs swimming about in the shallow water, they began to amuse themselves by pelting them with stones, and they killed several of them. At last one of the frogs put his head out of the water and said, Oh, stop, stop, I beg of you. What is sport to you is death to us. 